Hey guys, Jeff here for One Fish, Two Fish. Um, it is a rare day today at the store where we are actually closed. Um, it is a holiday today uh, where we live. So I'm actually gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough tour uh, of the entire store. Um, I'm gonna skip over some stuff a little bit quick because whenever I do these videos, I do tend to sit on one specific thing and I end up talking about it for nine hours. Uh, and then the video is unwatchable. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through of the store um, for any of you that haven't seen our store before. Um, just give you an idea of some of the stuff we stock. Um, we'll also put a link to the website below. Um, we are now doing Canada-wide shipping for $149 um, of a purchase. You get free Canada-wide shipping for almost anything in the store. Um, minus, of course, some of the big bulky items, uh, fish tanks, sand, substrate, salt, uh, stuff that weighs a ton, basically. Um, but I want to give you guys, we've actually, we've been swapping stuff around. We've been moving stuff out. We've actually got one thing that a lot of you will know that we just got rid of that actually makes me kind of sad because they were mine, um, but it was for the better of the animal. They were outgrowing um, where we had them. Um, and then the staff actually, I'll show you guys what the staff has done with, um, you'll see, a little surprise, but you'll see. Um, and then, like I said, uh, we'll just do a run through of a couple of the new items that we've got in. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can keep it under 10 minutes. So um, like I said, it's, uh, I, I, we, we do find ways to talk on certain items. So I'm gonna show you the first um, I should have obviously turned the light on to show you. Give me one second. Let me see if I can get a light. I thought I turned it on, but I didn't. Oh, well, we got red. So this tank, as some of you are going to know, is our 100 gallon. It's not a dead 100, but um, it's very close to 100 gallon um, cylinder tank. So what was in this tank for the longest time uh, was lionfish. Uh, it was a saltwater tank. It was two uh, volatile lionfish and it was one um, very large eel. Uh, the eel was fine because eels can get, eels can do well in um, it, until they get full out. This was a zebra eel, so it wasn't huge. Uh, he was fine in there, uh, but the lionfish were getting a little too big for the tank. Um, so we did decide it was best. We had a customer that wanted them um, and it, they were outgrowing it. So it was kind of what was best to do for the animal as well as um, it gave us an opportunity to change the tank up and do a little different with the tank. So if you guys will remember, um, this is our ProClear um, cylinder tank. Uh, what was the lionfish tank? It has now actually been converted to a freshwater tank. They've got some rocks. Uh, they've got some of the driftwood that does not do very well in sinking. Um, tied down, just a kind of cheap way to tie the rock down. And most of the rock is all covering it. And then they've got some Anubis plants um, kind of pasted in throughout the tank as well. There's no actual fish in this as of yet. But you guys can tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like the change for the tank, if you would have preferred the lionfish. Uh, but like I said, the, the issue with them is they just were outgrowing the tank and we had to kind of move on from them. Um, or we had to move them. And at that exact minute, it, it was just to be, to be honest, it was easier to move them into a bigger tank. Uh, they went to a 250 gallon tank, um, which was nice. And they were actually looking at uh, an even bigger tank. So, um, and then we've got a full fresh, or a, a frozen food selection, everything from Hikari to LRS uh, to the PE um, brand. All of that always in stock, of course. So if you guys will remember um, from past videos, our display tanks used to all be over there. There still are obviously a few over there that you can see, um, but we have moved a couple of them over here. Um, just basically a way to show off each one of the tanks. So you can see um, this is the Coral Life uh, 16 gallon bio cube. Um, it's actually on the stand that it comes with. Uh, all that is in it right now is just a, uh, a couple of clownfish, uh, a big piece of rock, actually a little piece of Aptasia that I can see. Uh, and if I'm correct, there's also a little shrimp in here that if I can find, which obviously I can't, 
Uh, and then we've got a Fluval Flex, uh, nine gallon. Um, just a just a freshwater planted tank. There's just some shrimp um, going in there. The lights, let me see if we can get the lights on a little brighter for you guys. And I don't know how much that changes it, but they're blue now. Anyway, there's just a bunch of shrimp in there. And then we have a little Aquion uh, shrimp tank. There's actually just some pygmy quarries in this right now. And then if you guys will remember, the back room was where we would keep our betas. Uh, we still do obviously have our betas back here. You can hear the water running. Um, our three beta systems. Again, I should have turned off all, or turned on all the lights. Of course, I'm not that smart, so I didn't. Um, and I've got to get in behind to do it, and it'll take me to too much work. So the lights are not on, but you can actually see, you know, we, we have the three beta systems, of course, still back here. Um, and then we have moved everything around back here and just kind of displayed all of the tank kits. Uh, of course, there is a ton of them. Um, we have got the bio cubes, the LED bio cubes, Coral Life that I just showed you, uh, the Fluval Vista uh, tanks, very nice little tanks. Um, one of the few kind of cheaper uh, kits that actually come with a decent filter. Um, it's actually not not bad little tanks, decent lights, um, good aqua clear filters in them. Um, we've also got the Marina brand uh, in each size. Uh, and then we have the salt water, the Fluval Sea salt water um, kits, uh, the Evo, the couple different sizes in the Evo, as well as the salt water flex. Uh, very nice tank. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a build of one of those um, on my own. So if I do, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys that. Uh, and then just the freshwater version, of course, of it, the 15 gallon, the 9 gallon, as well as the 32 gallon, um, you know, in the different colors, white, black. Uh, there's a couple of the 15s over there. And then we have obviously all the Aquion uh, tanks. Uh, they go 10, uh, 20, 29, and 55. They are all floating around here in some place or another. Uh, we have got the LED widescreen kit, uh, as well as a couple of the Aquion uh, bow front tanks. Uh, we actually do have some bow front, um, we have some bow front tanks on the way from Fluval as well. Um, and then here we have got a couple of discus. Uh, so this is our Red Sea Reefer uh, 750XL. Uh, these discus have been here since the beginning of December. Not much in this tank, to be honest. This tank is actually already sold uh, to a customer. Um, so it was, it was just being kind of left to um until they were able to pick it up so we just figured we would kind of utilize it and throw some discus in it for now and you know a couple of just cheap plants that i don't know how well you guys can see all this stuff because i'm doing the foam backwards so all that's in it obviously uh the system has kind of a built-in sump um with lots of media and all that stuff in it because there's discus in it and they can be pansies uh we've got a bunch of sponge filters in it as well um we've got a big heater on it we've got just a uh, kind of a cheaper version uh light again this tank is sold so uh once the customer picks it up um what we were thinking was maybe moving the discus over to the cylinder tank um the downfall to that is it is dark substrate um and the discus might not show up as well in it uh but as an overall though they'd be much happier in this tank uh, it's big enough for them um, there's some wood in it. There's some plants in it. Um, so that was kind of a thought. Again, you guys can let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. Um, and then we will go, where will we go over here? Uh, so over here is kind of just the counter area. Um, this is where we have got all of our uh, Apex stuff as well as uh, our Ecotech stuff. Um, all the power heads. You know, all the Vortex power heads, MP10s, uh, 40s, 60s, always in stock. Um, all the Quiet Drive, um, the, the newer version that actually go off the app more as well. Um, and then we've got some Aqua FX. What else do we have here? We, we have a bunch of Aqua FX parts. They're one of the um, our ODI units that we sell um, that we actually use ourselves. Uh, and then we have got, I'll show you guys, just a bunch of skimmers. Um, the selection of skimmers is a little dull right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we are waiting for a couple of orders. Um, we've got a bunch of orders right here, as you can tell, uh, that were just unboxing. Um, so 
Um, we do have more for skimmers on the way as we speak. Uh, there's a couple more flex tanks. So this is our RO system for the store. Uh, it is, it has a name. It has a, it has a fish name. I can't remember what it is, but it is a monster um, Aqua FX uh, RODI unit. It is a 1000 gallon uh, per day. And then we have got a big water jug here um, that holds, I believe it's 300 gallons when it's full. Um, just a little dirty sink, of course. Uh, and then as you guys all know, um, we've always got a very good selection of rocks, uh, dry goods, aquascaping stuff, um, plants, some very nice spider wood, some very nice dragon wood up top here. Always a good selection of dragon wood. And then, like you said, always tons and tons of rock in stock. Um, again, a couple of them uh, with stuff that are on the way. Um, but, you know, for salt or for fresh, there's always a ton of uh, dry rock, live rock. Um, the Avatar rock, uh, which is this stuff right here, it's crazy how big it is, but how light it is. That's obviously why its ability to float. It weighs nothing. Um, literally, it weighs nothing. Whenever it showed up, I actually, because I had, I had got, I think around 200 pounds of it, I assumed that they messed up my order and sent me 2,000 pounds of it because the rocks looked massive. Um, like comparison to, you know, a life rock. Let's see if I can grab a little piece. You know, just a small little piece of life rock. That would weigh, you know, four or five pounds where a piece that size of the Avatar rock would weigh a pound, uh, maybe less. It is very, very light stuff. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, there's always a ton of that stuff. And then, of course, we have our live rock bin. Um, always, you know, a couple of hundred pounds of live rock in stock. And then, of course, we have got our monster tank. See some clown loaches coming to see me. So this is a 1,350 gallon, uh, 10 foot tank. Uh, it was made by Concept Aquariums. Um, here's our stingrays. These are actually the stingrays that belong to the King of DIY. Um, he was doing some changes in his tank. Uh, he knew I always had liked them. Um, so he had kind of donated them to me, to be honest. Um, and then we've also got this guy over here. And then we've got a bunch of driftwood in the back. You can see Mr. and Mrs. Shark. Let me see if I can show you guys these fellows a little bit better. Monster ID sharks. Uh, we really need some more stuff to put in this tank, desperately. Um, I know a customer has a big, large frontosa that we were thinking. Uh, it's very tricky because it is a stingray tank. It is based on the stingrays. They, it's their home. Um, so anything that goes in, it has to be, uh, the stingrays have to be okay with it. Uh, but this tank drastically needs um, some more stuff swimming around in it. The clown loaches are doing really well. They're starting to get big. Um, these guys are just out to see me because they want food. Also very cool how the stingrays will just make a complete track all around. Doesn't matter how many times we fill it in, continuously fill it in, they continuously mess it up. Uh, and then basically everything under the blue sun for um, substrate, uh, fresh salt, live sand, planted substrate. You know, we've got a ton Uh, the Aquasolum, the Fluorite, the Tropica, uh, Carob Sea. Um, this is actually a brand that we just started carrying, a Fluval um, Stratum brand. Uh, actually doing very well, um, very good for shrimp. Uh, again, you'll have to bear with the phone. It's been ringing all day. Not a good day for us to be closed, as it turns out. Uh, and then we've got some big monster show pieces um, of Dragonwood, 
Uh, we've got some large Caspian wood. Again, a bunch of spider wood over there. Tons and tons and tons. And then of course, the coral tanks. This is one of three large coral tanks we have in the store. Um, these, these two here, this one and the one over there. Um, we've got uh, Ecotech, the new Ecotech uh, G5 um, XR15 blues. Um, we decided to go with the 15s as opposed to the 30s just because we could put more of them on it basically for the same amount of money. Uh, we found we got a better, uh, we just covered more of the tank that way. Um, Lots and lots of coral, tons of frags, lots of zoas, lots of mushrooms, elegance, long tentacle plates, bubble coral. You guys don't want to talk to me. You want to see the coral. Uh, we have the saw out right now uh, because we are actually fragging up some stuff. So this is what happy hammers look like. This is what a hammer that just got cut five minutes ago looks like. Got some monster elegance corals. We're actually going to cut them up today. And we've got these very cool little viewers um, that you can look through. Gives you a much better view. Um, so we've got three of them. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I said 10 minutes, we're already way past that. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on those. Uh, but th there, we've got three of those tanks. Uh, we also have two very large planted tanks. I'm not even going to show you those because it would be just showing you guys air. Um, our plants have been going crazy. Uh, we're ordering basically two boxes. We're ordering a plant order every week, uh, and we're just not we're not keeping up with it. So we are going to have to adjust a little bit. And um, we've started to go the last maybe month or so. Uh, we've tried a different variety of plant. Um, same supplier, just a different way how we buy them. Um, they're a little more money this way. We didn't touch the price. We left it just to see how they would do and people have liked them much better. Um, so we have kind of stuck with those, left them alone. Um, and we're gonna continue with them um, just because they, they do come in nicer. They do come in fuller. Uh, they're easier to move around and blah, blah. So, uh, and then as you guys know, we've got, I should have turned on some lights here for you. Maybe I still can. So the joys of all the lights being on one plug, it's really not that hard. So this is the full out. Um, this is one. Um, well, over there is two. So that is two of four freshwater systems that we have. Each system is uh, between 1,000 and 1,500 gallons of water. Um, just a bunch of shrimp. You know, a bunch of guppies, just regular. Got a bunch of Amano shrimp. Um, we've got, I don't know if we still... We've got a monster Fahaka puffer down there, a bunch of just little pest snails. Uh, we keep these actually for our puffers. Um, seeing if I can find anything that stands out for you guys. Uh, this is a, um, he's in a much smaller tank than he should be. Um, he was supposed to be sold and picked up. It's weird, the last bunch of flower horns we got, this is the nicest one and he's still here. Uh, it's a Campha Golden Base Super Red Magma Flower Horn. Super, super, super nice. Um, give him some light, and he just, his color shows really nice. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And I'm actually now seeing there is a sold sticker on him, so maybe they did sell him, and he just hasn't been picked up yet. Uh, but just a gorgeous fish. Uh, we have got a couple of black piranha, only one left. Um, you can't see him very good at all there show you another white piranha here and then we got a couple of marble crayfish kick it around we also have um, something we just started doing is we also offer our own um, salt water that we sell uh, we sell it in the buckets the pre-mixed um, for quite a bit more money than we do ourselves, and the stuff we do our own uh, actually has a better salt in it um, So it is coral pro red sea coral pro salt mixed um, We actually have the what is in the water Written on so you know exactly what you're buying. You know what the salinity is. You know what the levels are uh, We also have it all hooked up um, 
our RO guy is awesome, has it all directly from our RO system, and it's all, it actually goes through a DI filter as well. Uh, you know, it says the current salinity on it. Um, this is actually just being worked on right now. So there's a pump inside of it uh, that will hold 300 gallons of water, uh, 300 gallons of salt water. Uh, the back room is just that, a back room for stock, extra stuff. You guys don't need to see that. There's nothing fantastic there. Um, I'm gonna show you a very quick look at one of the sumps um, inside. This is not something we usually do, uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick look on it. So here is one of the freshwater sumps. Um, there is a monster heater in each one, uh, just on a controller. Um, they all go over in here. They come through just a ton of marine pier in every one of the systems. Again, another aqua UV, a monster UV sterilizer um, that does the entire system. And again, just a mess of PVC pipes and wires um, or not wire, sorry, tubing. Um, every system also has beyond the sump. Each system also has its own power, um, power head. Each system has its own um, sponge filter as well. Uh, and then we also have a, another water bin over here that is getting worked on again as well right now. Um, that is just a fresh water. Uh, we keep 200 gallons of uh, kind of just ready fresh water um, just for anything that we if we want to set up a new tank um, or we have to do a big water change or you know ba basically anything uh, and then so this it still says salt water um, technically it is salt water but there's really not much in it um, we're actually moving our entire so this whole system used to be salt this whole system used to be fresh um, the salt was built wrong my fault did a terrible job doing it um I put too much tanks too many tanks on one system um so let me just see here what i can show you is monster blood pair so this system has already half been moved to fresh water uh so each one of these whole walls is two systems one is salt one is fresh currently um same as the other all on one lighting you can turn it all on uh the lighting it is there's just nothing in it for salt to show you guys there's a couple of clownfish you know there's some platinum clowns there's a niger trigger you know just a couple of regular joe blow clowns a very rare yellow tang you know again a couple more clowns basically all that we have right now for salt water is clowns it has been about two weeks so the reason for that is this um we are building a new salt water system um, as opposed to going off of two systems, this is going to give us the ability to have five systems, um, which is going to be much healthier for the fish, uh, and much, it's a little dark back here. Um, and the other ability we'll have when doing it this way is we'll also be able to actually keep inverts, um, and make it easy to be able to sell inverts. Um, yeah, so this is a whole freshwater system. I'm just seeing a bunch of plecos and a bunch of different stuff. Um, so the way we had done it, it was always hard to track down inverts, uh, snails, hermit crabs, obviously they move um, and we put them in tanks that they do better in. Uh, a lot of the coral tanks, that's where we we're putting them. The issue with that again is when you come in to buy them, they're very tricky to find. Um, so whenever we actually get these tanks in, they should be on their way this week. Um, so that probably puts them 10 or so days out. Once those arrive, uh, I'll give you, we'll do up another video showing you guys actually the installs of the tanks. Uh, maybe we'll do a video of the plumbing to show you how that's done. Uh, again, it's, it's very simple. It's only going to be six tanks on each unit. Um, so it's really not uh, really tricky to do. Give you guys another little, just once through here of uh, lots of decorations, lots of artificial coral. Again, lots of plants, some Star Wars stuff. Um, a whole bunch of chemical testing, um, HANA stuff, API stuff, Red Sea stuff, Aquaphora stuff, um, Salifert stuff, Seachem stuff, lots and lots. Then a, a whole bunch of the LED lights, different LED lights, uh, ridiculous uh, amount of power heads um, from high doors to 
uh, sea chase to the Fluval Sea to the Maxi Jets uh, to the, the Coral Box to the J Bows, you know, everything, bunch of pumps. And then all your filters, your sponge filters, all your chemicals, basically 90% of that is all Sea Chem. Um, Fritz actually has started to uh, take up a, a decent amount of the shelf. Um, we've been we've been buying a lot of Fritz stuff lately, and then you know just the wall of products, a whole bunch of food flakes and everything, um, all bag food, and then just your wall of kind of everything. Basically, nothing you guys haven't seen in another pet store. Uh, we just have a lot of it. Um, so yeah, that's just a not quick walkthrough of the store, not even a little bit. Actually, in the next week, we're getting uh, something that's always been a pain in here is the lighting. Um, when we got the building, the lighting sucked and a lot of it still does, but we have slowly been picking at it. So when you see in there, they're all just old crappy bulb, uh, just, just not good lighting. So we've actually been changing a lot of it to just an LED light that you can see. So once that gets done, um, it will actually light up the whole store a whole lot better, which is going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, so if any of you haven't seen, um, have got the ability to actually come into the store, I know right now with everything going on, uh, you know, some people are confined to being home, which sucks, but that is what it is. That's how you stay safe. So we just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough, show you anything, uh, you can leave any comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see. Um, You'll have to bear with my inability to do good YouTube videos. Um, that's going to take anywhere between like four months and 17 years. Uh, but I will try to get better at these things so we can show off some more stuff. Um, we are going to start doing, like I said, uh, a video every week for, um, you know, one or the other, a salt video, a fresh video, uh, a setup video, an unboxing video. Um, we're going to start doing the fish unboxing videos because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about those. Um, and they're always fun seeing what came in. Um, seeing different stuff. So, and then all of our tropical plants, I forgot them. There's the phone again. Um, so there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That took a lot longer than 10 minutes, like I anticipated, uh, but you will get used to that with me. Uh, I always say they're two minute videos. They always end up being 20 minute videos. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Um, and oh, got to show you one more fish. That is one of the Evo tanks up front. It is the nicest pair of supercell um, clownfish and a a big mouth blue spot jawfish. Big mouth. He literally, every time he goes by, Bob, Bob, looking for food. Very, very, very pretty fish. Anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.